Above the Rim was um, was an interesting situation. I mean, here's a, man, here's a movie that's being shot in New York, in Harlem, at the Rucker Park, where I played as a kid in the tournament. You know, I mean, come on. You know, this is it. I believe they offered it to Denzel. Um, he either wasn't available or didn't accept it, don't know what happened, really. Um, so I came in for a meeting, meet the director. He says, I don't know if you're right for this role. Um, he says, not mainly because I don't think you're old enough. I think the guy needs to be a little older. I said, well, I can be older. You just have to allow me, I'm an actor. I didn't hear anything for a while. Then I came in for another meeting and they offered me the role. Well, I first met Tupac at the table read for Above the Rim. And, you know, <laughs> I'm just into my character. So I'm just, you know, it's <laughs> all I care about. And um, I remember him coming in, very loud, very bodacious, very Tupac-ish. Um, you know, slapping everyone, hanging out, you know, saying what he's gonna say. And he got to me and he went like this. You are not gonna have a problem with me because you are in the five heartbeats. That's exactly what he said to me. And we were 100. What I saw in Tupac was a very charismatic young man that I thought could have done whatever he wanted to do. Um, I just thought his head was in the wrong place. There were times on the set, I mean, well, well we had to delay shooting a couple of times because of the incidents that happened with him. Talking about going by a t-shirt shop after we were shooting because they were selling some t-shirts of his and they were going to go beat everybody up or something like that. And I was just like, I mean, a part of me wanted to just grab him and talk to him, you know, and go, man, leave, leave that alone. Leave that nonsense alone. That's not going to get you anywhere. 